we're just Christians out there uh, interviewing people. We, you know, go around and specifically in this area of Pontiac, usually every Friday when we go around, we just ask people spiritual questions as to what happens when you die. Do you got any thoughts on that? Do I have any thoughts on when I die yeah. besides being dead? Yeah. Um, no, I don't have any thoughts on that okay. right now. All right. Do you think it's over? That's it? Lights out? You know what? I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that's how I'm be be Because the thing, my, my training of thought is that there are forces and things I've never seen mm -hmm. with my own eyes. But I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure. Like like people say, you know, heaven and hell and yeah. all this stuff and, and God, mm -hmm. you know, I've never seen. Mm -hmm. I'm just I grew up in this world and I'm I'm here, I'm just you yeah. know, things are what they are. Yeah. But you know, my my, my train my, my, my train of thought is that um I, I'm curious mm -hmm. as to how people can believe in something they've never seen or felt or actually touched. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I and I'm just curious about yeah. that, you know. I mean yeah. just because somebody told you yeah. when you were a kid that there's yeah. this and that, you know, it's just like when somebody tell me if I stick my hand in some fire I'm gonna get burnt. Yeah. I can understand that, you know, if, if I don't believe them, yeah. I get burnt. But if yeah. somebody tell me there's a God or whatever I'm not an atheist yeah. or whatever, I'm on the borderline. Mm -hmm. But okay. you know, I'm just well, maybe I can convince you there's a guy. Okay. I'm gonna give you my best shot. All okay, right? shot, shoot. Um, Not with when books. you look at <laughs> when okay. you look at creation, mm -hmm. just like when you look at a painter. I'm sorry about oh, that's all right. A okay. painting is 100% proof there's a painter, right? Mm -hmm. You know, a painter existed because there's evidence for the painter, the painting itself. Correct. When you look at a building, for instance, all around us, we know there was a building. Now we didn't see them, maybe when they, you know, erected some of these buildings, but there's 100% proof a builder existed, and that is the building itself stands. I'm with you on that Okay? One. Now, the same can cross over into creation. Creation, the grass, the trees, dirt, human beings, is absolute proof a creator exists. We can't have creation unless there was a creator. Does that make sense? That makes a lot yeah. of sense. Yeah, like, where'd all the dirt come from? I mean, that and makes, that's just dirt. I mean, could you, could you make honey from nothing? True. We couldn't, could we? We need. We'd say, "Oh, I'll make a bee," but how do we make a bee from nothing? Absolutely nothing. We need things, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I'll go with the heaven and hell route for you, real quick. Okay, do you consider yourself, Leroy, to be a good person? Or what? Oh yes. Okay. Without doubt. Okay. Now I'm going to take you through a couple questions to see if that's true. And these are questions we pose to people because um, it really shows us a need for something deeper. Okay. And I'm going to take you into the inner courtroom. We're standing right by a, a courthouse here. So I'm going to take you into the inner courtroom in your heart, okay? Something that most people can't see. And it'll maybe expose some truth of God, okay? Have you ever told a lie? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now that's the ninth commandment according to the Bible. And it says, you know, do not bear false witness. Now if I've lied, what would you call me? A liar. Okay. Have you ever stolen anything? Yes. Okay. Now what do you call someone who steals stuff? Thief. Yep. Have you ever used God's name in vain? Yes. Okay, now that's called blasphemy. And the Bible says it's very serious because God will not hold them guiltless who use his name as a cuss word, right? Mm -hmm. It's like uh, we don't use Hitler's name as a cuss word, but we take the Yeah, God. like Hitler Dan. Yeah, you know, yeah. or even our own moms. Right. You know, if someone used my mom's name as a cuss word, I'd be offended. Yet we take the God who gave us life and breath and our family and we drag his name through the mud. Very serious. Last one, all right, this this one gets everyone. Um, you've heard not to commit adultery, right? Mm -hmm. Jesus said if you look at a woman with lust, God sees that as adultery in the heart. So have you ever looked at a woman with lust? Mm -hmm. Okay, now Leroy, based on your own admission, mm -hmm. you're a lying, thieving, blasphemous adulterer at heart, okay? <laughs> all right, now that's, okay. that's no, all no, you, that's, right? that's good, right. I'm, I'm with you all right, now, I'm that's with you only, now keep this in mind, I'm guilty too. I'm not standing here saying, Man, you're a bad person. I am just as guilty as breaking this law as the next person. All right? So now, based on that admission, if God exists, would you be found innocent or guilty of breaking his laws? Oh, guilty without a doubt. Would you go to heaven or hell? What should he do with guilty? What 
normally happens to guilty people. Yeah, they get punished. Punishment. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now, if, uh, uh, let's say a judge just lets him go, lets every guilty person go, he would be viewed as a guilty judge because mm-hmm. he's not seeing the justice is done, right? Does that make sense? It makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so does that concern you? If you die today, and what I'm telling you is true, you would end up in hell for eternity because God would give you what you deserve. Based on the small interview we had, yeah. you are correct. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you something. That, that shows your conscience is at work, right? Your mm-hmm. conscience is saying, okay, there's something here. Um, what do you think God did for you so you wouldn't have to go to hell? What do I think God did for me? You know what? I'm going to tell you what I think He did for me. Okay. In the last two weeks, mm-hmm. I've been on the bus to Detroit. Mm-hmm. There was a lady who got on the bus. And there was a lot of empty seats. And she sat right next to me. Mm-hmm. And she was basically talking to you about, about the same stuff. The same stuff. And I've had a woman come over to our house yesterday. And she said, she talked to my girlfriend. And she said, if you don't go to church with me Sunday, I'm going to beat your butt. You know? <laughs> so basically, somebody's sending signals something's to me. On, Some, yeah. Something's going yeah, on. This is not the, a coincidence. No, it's yeah. not. I, yeah. I feel it now. Yeah. I know it's not. Yeah, OK. Let me tell you specifically what God did, and you can do with this information what you want, because we're going to walk away, we'll all go on with our weekend. I may never see you again, right? I'm not here representing the church. I don't want your money. Think about this. 2,000 years ago, God became a man in the person of Jesus Christ, and he came and he stepped into your courtroom and he paid your fine. What happened 2,000 years ago was a legal transaction. It's like you were standing before the judge. You had a fine that you couldn't pay. And someone that you don't even know came into your courtroom and paid your fine. That person is Jesus Christ. He came into your courtroom and he paid your fine in his life's blood. And now God can stay just and let you go because he punished himself, taking the punishment that you deserve. So what you have to do in response to that information is not just say, I'm sorry, because you should be sorry. Mm -hmm. If I say I'm sorry and I kick you in the shin and I keep kicking you in the shin and saying I'm sorry, I'm not really sorry. Mm-hmm. What you have to do is a biblical word called repent. Today, realize that you've offended the holy God who sees every secret thing you've ever done. And he will give you the just punishment that you deserve. But today, he commands you, repent, be right. Turn from your sins and then trust in Jesus Christ the same way you trust in a parachute. Just don't believe in it trust in it to save you. I'm not talking about going to church or giving your money to the poor. Nothing that you work can earn your way into heaven. It's a free gift. Mm -hmm. Today, I'm I'm urging you, repent. Turn from your sin and then trust in Jesus Christ. The minute you do that, he gives you a new heart with new desires. He takes all that old sin that you once had, forgives it completely. Today's sins, yesterday's sins, and tomorrow's. And fruit that something happened will actually show evident in your life because you'll be changed. You'll be transformed from here on out. Does that make sense? Now, the question is, is there any sin that you have in your life right now that is so important, that you love so much, that you don't want to repent? There's the good news. There's the offer. Is there a sin in your life that you'd rather hold on to than respond to this? Well, if smoking is a sin, that's no. probably it. No. Okay. It's not. Drinking? Uh, getting drunk. Getting drunk. Yeah, drinking, no. Getting drunk. That's it. But you know what? Those things, God will change in the future. Because mm-hmm. he's not just waiting for you to clean up. Mm-hmm. But today, look at the fact that God has made a way for you to get to heaven. Not clean up your life first and then respond. Mm-hmm. But he'll clean you up the moment you respond. And he'll start to take away those desires. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. All right, so today I just urge you to think about this stuff. Because... 150,000 people die every single day, right? Today could be your last day. And so, like you said, I don't think it's a coincidence. God brought us here for a reason. So I'm urging you today. He's been sending people yeah, my way. Yeah, respond to it. Because the more you harden your heart, the more you reject it, the more God lifts up his grace. And the less people you'll see coming with this message. This is amazing. Yeah, so I just urge you, hey, we'll be mm-hmm. praying for you. Thank Can you. Can we pray with you real quick off camera? Sure.